Peggy 18. Welcome to Call of Duty Insider, a series of tips and tricks videos to give you an edge on the competition. In this iteration of Nazi Zombies, you'll find yourself in the quaint Bavarian village of Middleburg. Look at this place. There's a toy shop, a town cobbler, a beer garden, and an enormous underground laboratory built by Dr. Straub to bring about the final Reich with his legions of Nazi zombies. Ah, their heads explode so good. But you'll have to play smart if you don't want to become zombie food. In this episode, we'll be counting down our top five tips for Nazi zombies. Exit strategy. You'll want to spend your first few matches getting the lay of the land. As you start to open up new parts of the map, take note of how the different locations connect to one another. That way you can always have an escape route planned if things get hairy. Knowing how to get around will also help you complete new objectives, which will unlock new escape routes and new areas. Fistful of Jolts. Jolts are your currency in this iteration of Nazi Zombies. You get jolts for killing zombies, and you need jolts to buy, well, pretty much everything. It may be tempting to spend your excess jolts on every shiny new gun you see mounted to the wall, but try to be frugal. You never know when you're going to need those jolts to open a gate or set a trap. You'll also want to keep those jolts evenly distributed. You can do this by dropping jolts for your teammates. Here you go. One for you. And one for you. One more tip to help you get the most jolts for your kills in the early rounds. If you pump two rounds into a zombie's chest and follow it up with a melee attack, you'll earn twice as many jolts with that combo. Perks of the job. As you play, you'll notice machines scattered around the map called blitz machines that will give you perks in exchange for jolts. They're a bit pricey, so you may want to skip them at first. However, these perks will come in handy later on. Stamina up, for example, greatly increases your sprint duration. You'll want to start collecting these perks as soon as you can afford them. Once you buy one, you'll have it until death do you part. Loadouts. In Nazi Zombies, your loadout consists of your special, your mods, your equipment, and your starting weapon. The more you play zombies, the more XP and Raven Research tokens you'll earn. These tokens unlock mods that can either give perks to your character or add a useful twist for your special ability. You can equip up to three mods at a time. What are special abilities, you ask? Let's say these zombies are getting a little too clingy. Pop shell shock to push them back. Aw, oh, look at them. They don't even know what's going on. Tired of limited ammo? Pop free fire and upgrade to an unlimited bullet plan. Ever want to revive your teammates without all the attention? Pop camouflage and move around undetected. Not getting enough attention? Pop frontline and start kiting. Speaking of, let's go fly a kite. Kiting is probably the most valuable skill you will need to master to be successful in Nazi zombies. So what the hell is kiting? Well, see how this guy is dragging a mob of zombies behind him? Kind of like, like a kite? Anyway, it's called kiting. It's incredibly important to keep those zombies at your back. Find a route that you can run in a loop and never stop moving. When you have a mob behind you, you'll be able to turn around and pick them off while you back away from them. Kiting is the most useful at the end of a round, when most of the zombies are dead. You'll want to kill all but one zombie and have one player kite them around the level, giving the other players a chance to do some shopping before the next round starts. The difficulty of the zombies increases significantly with each round, so blowing through them quickly is a surefire way to find yourself facing off against this guy with nothing but a pea shooter. And that's it for this episode of Call of Duty Insider. Keep these tips in mind, and you may just make it out of this meat grinder alive. Be sure to check back often for episodes of Insider Tips for new hints, tricks, and everything else Call of Duty World War II.